Hey everyone, so today I decided that I wanted to do um, an unboxing slash first impressions review of the Sibuline and Mazari art kit. Um, if you've never heard of this kit, um, it's basically an artist curated sketchbook and art supply kit that also comes with like a workbook where the artist kind of takes you through their process along with the supplies that they've included in the kit. Um, I've actually been a fan of Sibuline for quite a while. I bought this zine, I think back in 2015 when I first discovered her artwork. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, I've always really loved her line work and her drawing style. And her art has changed over the years, but I feel like it's only gotten better. Um, this one's really cool. So when I saw this art kit, I was like, okay, <laughs> I kind of have to have this. It's, it's a little expensive. Um, let me pull up the price really quick. So this art kit retails for $179. Um, and usually there's a coupon code to get free shipping because shipping can be a little expensive from Mazari, which is why I haven't really uh, purchased anything from them, even though I, I've seen a lot of artists um, use their their sketchbooks. Anyway, so I, I, I know what's gonna be in this kit, but I thought it would be fun to kind of do a little unboxing and first impressions with you guys, just so I can, if, if anyone's curious um, as to the quality or what's in the art kit, I can show you. I've never used a Mazari sketchbook and I know some artists have raved about them, but I kind of want to see it for myself. So anyway, I've actually kind of peeked inside the box already. I, I've kind of cheated. I didn't open everything. So this is still kind of a first impressions um, unboxing. I, I kept all the art supplies sealed. I didn't really open much up. I just kind of peeked. So um, yeah, let's get started. So first off, I really love the sleeve that they put around the box. I'm the same person who framed the back of the Baby Yoda cereal box. So chances are I'm probably gonna keep this, cut it off and put it in a frame because I just, it's just so beautiful. I love the colors. Um, so let's go ahead and take this off. Here we go. Slides right off. Um, right off we have this bag that has Mazari printed on it. And I believe the art supplies are inside. What do I do with this? All right, sorry, this is this is really awkward. So I'm just gonna pull everything out of the bag. It's just kind of cool, it's like a little travel bag. All right, the first thing that I see that's in the kit is this porcelain palette. And at first when I saw this on the website, I was like, I don't need another palette. Um, however, I don't know if anyone else has experienced this when painting, sometimes I just have way too many swatches and I need more space. Um, this is pretty similar to the one that I have. Let me show you guys. So I have this one from Dick Blick. It's not porcelain, it's like a hard plastic. Um, and I have my gouaches in here that can be reactivated, um, which is why, you know, I probably need a new one because I don't want to, I don't want to waste these colors, but sometimes I want to swatch some other colors. So it's be nice to have a, a spare. Let's kind of look at it. Watch me drop it and break it in this video. That would suck. Yeah, so it's just a basic little flower palette. It's really cute. I'm not sure how much these retail for, so I don't know how much value this adds. I, I think they're pretty expensive, so I think I'll put that up on the screen if I can find the standard retail price of these. All right, I'm pretty sure I know what's in this. I haven't opened it yet. Ooh, feels like paint. So here we have a titanium white and an ultra, ultra marine deep blue. I'm realizing that my camera is struggling to, to focus. There's some more, we've got a blue green, a black, light apricot, and burnt sienna. And I forgot to mention that these are the acrylic gouache. So they're similar to gouache paint, 
However, from what I heard, they are more closer to acrylics in that they can't be reactivated, but these are also known for their opaqueness. Um, a lot of artists similar to Sibuline use their paints. And I've been wanting to try them, but every time I go to the art supply store, they're super expensive. We've got a shell pink, deep yellow, focus. Sorry. Here, I'm just gonna dump these out. We've got a vermilion. I don't know how to say that. I'm terrible at pronouncing everything. And then a light blue. Alright, let's see what's in here. I think this will be like the pencils and the brushes. Oh, I needed another one of these. We have a mechanical pencil. We have some brushes in here. Sorry about the crinkling sound. <laughs> and I already have one of these, but it's nice to have a spare because I'm always losing these. I've actually been wanting to try some nicer brushes because all of the brushes that I have are cheap from Michaels, so. All right, nothing else in there. We have some lead for the pencil. And we have some washi tape, as if I needed more. <laughs> all right, let me just get rid of this box because it's kind of getting in the way. Okay, as you can see, this is still pla in the pla bleh, plastic. So I did not open this. So even though I did peek, I, I didn't open the, these, this. Um, and then I believe in here is probably the prints because you do get some prints and stickers. So let's look at that first. Ooh. Really pretty. I believe this is a card. Yeah, these are cards, which I will be hanging these. I will not be using the envelopes because I actually collect postcards um, from artists because it takes up a lot less wall real estate and you can kind of switch them out. I have this um, string light situation with clips that I, I kind of switch out um, different cards onto. I love this one. This one I, I saw on, on her Instagram and I really wanted it. This one's really pretty. And then are these stickers or is this a card? I think these are stickers. And then we have a couple more prints. Ooh, I love this one. Okay, should I leave the sketchbook for last? Let's leave the sketchbook for last. I do not know how to open this. It's very well wrapped. All right, it is free. So let's take a look at this. I'm not gonna show too much from this because um, I don't wanna spoil anything because they don't show any of the pages online. But part of me really wanted to see what the pages looked like when I was buying it. So maybe this will help someone else if they wanna, you know, buy it. So there's like a little guidebook in here which is really cool. I believe this walks you through the different supplies that was provided. And this looks like color swatching for the colors and how to mix them, which is gonna be very helpful for me because I wing everything and I never know what I'm doing when I'm mixing colors. So this is pretty cool. I won't, I won't show too much of this. Let's kind of take a peek in here. Okay, so you're testing you're, you're following that book and you're swatching in here, it looks like, and then you're coloring the pages. That's pretty cool. These are very thick pages too, so they'll be able to hold up with the gouache. All right, cool. This will be really good practice. All right, the moment at least I've been waiting for, I don't know about you guys, you actually get to choose from two different ones. So you'll see which one I got in a second. All right. Ta-da! Oh, 
All right, I wanna see these pages to see how sturdy they are. There's a little pocket. What is this? Oh, it's like a little catalog, okay. Okay, these are pretty thick. That's, that's gonna be very helpful for using the gouache. So this isn't gonna be like my typical sketchbook. This will be for paint. Cause I have some other sketchbooks that are mixed media. Cause this one is supposed to be, I believe this one is supposed to be mixed media, but the pages aren't as thick. Um, for example, um, and this sticker is by Lee. I'll put her, um, her ad on the, on the screen. Like these are actually, these are relatively thick. Um, compared to the Mosri though, I think the Mosri pages are thicker. Yeah, by, by a tish. Um, and I haven't started, yeah, I have a sketchbook problem. I haven't really used this one besides, oh my God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just realized I put the sticker on the back. That's fine. This is fine. All right, so that is everything that's in the art kit. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do a more in-depth review, um, trying out the different supplies, um, trying out the workbook and trying out the sketchbook with the supplies that were given. Um, for now, my first impression would probably be that there's a lot in here. Um, these guys are not cheap. So the fact that you have so many choices and you can make so many different color palettes and then you also have the brushes and the palette to, it's pretty much a very functional kit. I feel like knowledge is um, priceless. So having this practical application style workbook to practice the techniques being taught by the artist, I feel like it's, especially if you really like an artist. And then I like that they include prints from the artist. Um, if you're already a fan of them, you might already have these or you may not. Um, it's a very good incentive to buy the kit um, because you don't have to buy this separate from this. You kind of have like an all-in-one little bundle here of merch from the artist, their favorite supplies, and then my favorite thing uh, is of course the Fox sketchbook because my friends will tell you I am very obsessed with foxes. And if this feels like a very good quality sketchbook, I like that it has the tie or what do you call this? Uh, the elastic band to keep it together. I like the thickness of the sketchbook. And then another thing, I know a lot of artists feel the same way. I like that it lays flat. Um, the spiral bounding is, it feels pretty good quality. Like it's not gonna come off. I have some books that are, um, have like the plastic binding and they always get bent and they fall off. And then I like that the outside d doesn't have the spiral. It, the hard cover covers the whole thing. Um, and then it has pockets as well. And then a little tie, or not a tie, what do you call it? So I'm actually pretty excited to use this. And I, I mean, I wasn't sure how the quality of the sketchbook was gonna be because I've bought some sketchbooks online before and they were kind of meh. Um, so the fact that this feels pretty sturdy and um, would probably hold the weight of the paint, um, it's pretty exciting. If you guys, again, if you guys want a more in-depth review, um, because sometimes sketchbooks look good and then you go to use them and then, you know, the page is all warped. So let me know if you want to see that. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you liked this video, go ahead and leave a big thumbs up or a little one, you know, we don't discriminate against size on this channel. And then if you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and also subscribe because chances are you are not subscribed because at the time of me recording this, I only have like 28 subscribers. And then if you wanna follow me on Instagram, I will put my handles down in the description box below and maybe on the screen, you know, if I'm feeling it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye <laughs>